The NBA has been around for over 73 years. Many franchises have come along over the last few decades. The Toronto Raptors made history in 2019, becoming the first team from Canada to win an NBA title. Starting from the 95-96 season, the franchise didn't make the finals until Kawhi Leonard came along. How's it going guys? My name's Wilson. With the Raptors off the list, here are 6 NBA franchises to have yet to reach the NBA finals. Starting with number 6, the New Orleans Pelicans. Still relatively young, the the franchise was called the New Orleans Hornets in the 0203 season, originally called the Charlotte Hornets, which became the Charlotte Bobcats. The franchise started off with Baron Davis and Jamal Mashburn, originally in the Eastern Conference. The team made the playoffs their first two seasons, falling in the first round to Philly and Miami. After the Bobcats started their first season, the Hornets moved to the Western Conference to even the number of teams in each conference. With the injuries to former All-Stars Baron Davis and Jamal McClure, the team only won 18 games in 2005 earned the fourth pick, drafted Chris Paul where he spent six seasons with the franchise, led the team to a franchise best 56 wins his third full season, made the semifinals before falling to the defending champion Spurs. Paul carried the team to the postseason two more times. No match in the West, demanded out, the team landed Anthony Davis first overall in 2012. However, GM Del Dems failed to surround good pieces around the franchise superstar. Davis made two playoff appearances in seven seasons, having five losing years, making the second round in 2018, but no match for Golden State. AD voiced his displeasure, eventually got his wish, traded to the Lakers. Now the franchise will depend on the sensational Zion Williamson, one of the most exciting young players in the league. Number 5, the Memphis Grizzlies. Many forget the franchise started back in the 95-96 season, where they were called the Vancouver Grizzlies. As awful as any franchise in NBA history, the first six seasons in Canada was an absolute travesty. The team failed to win more than 23 games, the laughing stock of the NBA, losing money, the Sharif Abdurrahim days, forced to relocate to Memphis. The franchise had a bright future with rookie power forward Pau Gasol who made an immediate impact. The team made their first playoff appearance in year 9 from 2004 to 2006 but was swept by the Spurs, Suns and Mavs, all heavy contenders in the loaded Western Conference. Gasol broke his foot while playing for Spain before the 07 season. Being limited, the team won just 22 games, continued to stink in 2008 before miraculously traded to the Lakers, Memphis rebuilt it with young Marcus Gasol and Mike Conley, became competitive during the early 2010s alongside Rudy Gay and Tony Allen. After signing Zach Randolph, won their first ever playoff series in an upset against the 61 win Spurs, the star of the grid and grind era under head coach Lano Hollins. The team was a cohesive unit, led by their tough defense and slow tempo, made the conference finals in 2013. After a franchise best 56 wins, Gasol became one of the best centers in the league, won defensive player of the year, remained competitive till 2017, but no chance against OKC, Golden State and San Antonio, rebuilt it for 2 years to land Jared Jackson Jr and John Moran. The team remains in the 8th spot as of 2020, a bright future ahead. Number 4, the Minnesota Timberwolves, a joke of a franchise without Kevin Garnett, 9 total pole seasons in 31 years, unacceptable and pathetic. The team started in the 89-90 season, didn't make the playoffs till KG's second year, 8 of the team's 9 playoffs off exes came in the very first round having only 450 plus win seasons after the team tried to get away with paying Joe Smith under the table being caught by David Stern they had to forfeit three first round picks it wasn't until when the team signed veteran Sam Gassell and Latrell Sprewell that Minnesota finally make some noise earned the number one seed in the west in 2004 Garnett's MVP year the franchise's first and only conference finals appearance Gassell was banged up so the Wolves didn't have much of a chance against the Lakers KG left three years later Either. The franchise continued to rebuild and strike out on multiple drafts, famously remembered for passing up future superstar Steph Curry, drafted Ricky Rubio, Johnny Flynn, Wesley Johnson, and Derek Williams. There's a reason why the team didn't make it back to the postseason for 14 years after the accusation of Jimmy Butler. Once that didn't work out, the team struggled yet again looking for answers, traded Andrew Wiggins, landed D'Angelo Russell. Now alongside Carl Anthony Towns, the franchise will need more pieces to contend in the West. Number 3, the Charlotte Hornets. We all know how bad the Bobcats were. The 
the Hornets are much better. Being around since the 88-89 season, the franchise has yet to make a conference finals. Just like many expansion franchises, Charlotte started off bad their first four years. Led by Kelly Tributa, Rick Chapman, Del Curry, and Muggsy Bowles, landed the first pick in 91, drafting athletic power forward Larry Johnson out of UNLV. The eventual Rookie of the Year winner earned the second pick the following year, drafting Georgetown's Alonzo Mourning, two 2010 front court lines, alongside point guard Kendall Gill, a promising young trio, earned the fifth seed, still the franchise's most memorable moment to this day, Alonzo Mourning's walk-off game-winning jumper, first round series clincher against the Celtics in 93, but fell to the 60-win Knicks, injuries to Johnson and Mourning caused the team to miss the playoffs in 94, won 50 games the next year as the fourth seed, but Jordan came back before the end of the regular season, gave the Hornets a taste of their own medicine, averaged over 32 in the 3-1 series win, the team then traded Zoe to Miami for Glenn Rice and two others who became the face of the team, won a franchise best 54 games in 97. Rice averaged close to 27 a game, won all-star game MVP, the team drafted Kobe Bryant in 96, but traded him for Flotty Divac, swept by New York in round 1. The following year fell to the 98 Bulls in the semis. The Eastern Conference was just too loaded in the 90s. Rice was then traded to the Lakers throughout the 99 season. The team did make the playoffs from 2000 to 2002. Won in the mid 40s, led by Eddie Jones briefly, then Baron Davis and Jamal Mashburn. After moving to New Orleans in 2002, the Bobcats era was formed in 04. Started from scratch with rookie Emeka Okafor, young Raymond Felton, and Gerald Wallace. No playoff berth from 05 to 09. Badly struck out, drafting bus Adam Morrison third overall in the 06 draft. The franchise continued to be a disaster, especially during the Kemba Walker era. Attracted no good free agents, many bad contracts, despite making the playoffs in 2014 and 2016, Charlotte was never good enough to compete amongst the best teams in the East, continued to strike out on awful picks, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Cody Zeller, and Frank Kaminsky, nothing more than role players, Kemba left for free agency in summer 2019, the franchise remains to be out of the playoff picture, likely for the early part of the 2020s decade. Number 2, the Denver Nuggets. The franchise has been in the NBA since the ABA merger, starting from the 76-77 season, the team looked promising in the late 70s and most of the 80s, made the conference finals their second season, led by David Thompson, Dan Izzo, and Bobby Jones, lost to the Sonics in 6. After head coach Duff Moe took over, brought in the motion offense philosophy, led the team to averaging the most points in the NBA for a few years, but played absolutely no defense, led by scoring machines in Alex English, Kiki Vandeweghe, and Fat Lever. However, they were no match against the Showtime Lakers, falling in the 85 conference finals. After the English era, the team became relevant once again, becoming the first franchise to ever upset the one seed in the 94 playoffs, knocking off the Seattle Sonics, led by Dikembe Mutombo, Mohamed abdul Raoul, and Lafonso Ellis, after an 8 year drought, a decade later, selected Carmelo Anthony third in the 03 draft. Melo would make the playoffs in each of his first 7 full seasons, but bounced in the first round 6 times. After trading for Chauncey Billups, the team became legit contenders in 2009. After steamrolling by the Hornets and Mavs, fell to Kobe's 65 win Lakers. After the Melo era, the team didn't have a true star, just good role players. Won an NBA franchise best 57 wins in 2013 without an all star, but fell to the underdog Steph Curry. Curry's Warriors, followed by a 5 year playoff drought, the franchise now have a bright future with superstar Nikola Jokic and a bunch of role players, anything short of an NBA Finals appearance over the next 5 seasons as long as Jokers on the team would be considered a huge disappointment. Number 1 The Los Angeles Clippers, a franchise that's been existing for 50 years yet to make the finals or even a single conference finals appearance. The franchise was never really viewed as contenders until CP3's arrival, started off as the Buffalo Braves, left by big men Bob McAdoo, who won three scoring titles, made three postseasons, won the 1975 MVP, but couldn't get past the Celtics. The team relocated to San Diego. The franchise continued to be a joke. With the injured and derailed Bill Walton, Donald Sterling bought the team in 81, moved to Los Angeles, viewed as the JV squad of LA. The franchise wouldn't win more than 45 games until the 2006 season. Led by all-star power forward Elton Brand, made the second round for the first time in 30 years, lost in the semis to Steve Nash's sons. LA struggled the next five years until the CP3 trade, the era of 
of Lob City with Blake and DJ. The team won between 56 to 57 games from 2013 to 2015, but had many untimely injuries to Paul and Griffin. Combined with blowing leads, choking performances by the team, blew a huge lead in Game 5 of the 2014 semis against OKC. On verge in making its first conference finals in 2015, blew a 19-point lead in Game 6 to Houston. Banged up by injuries the following years after, CP3 eventually traded to Houston, followed by Griffin going to Detroit. After looking to rebuild, the franchise was surprisingly competitive with scrappy role players Lou Williams, Montres Harrell, Danella Gallinari, and Patrick Beverly. Attracted enough for Kawhi Leonard and Paul George to sign summer 2019, if the 2020 season continues, the Clippers will have their best shot in not only making the conference finals, but the NBA finals. Viewed as heavy contenders, anything short of a championship during the Kawhi Leonard era would be unacceptable. I predict the Clippers will be the next franchise on this list to make the finals. After 40 plus years of misery, good days will be ahead. Those were all the franchises to have yet to make the NBA Finals. Which one of these teams do you think will be the last to make an NBA Finals appearance? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love all of you. See you next time.